Ever wondered what happens when a Tyranid High Fleet runs into a world held by the Death Guard? We're going to find out today in this 2000 point game of Adaptation vs Endurance. Today's mission is Priority Targets. Players will score 5 points for holding one objective and 10 for holding two. There's an additional round of scoring at the end of Battle Round 5. Hello and welcome to Obsec Tactics. I am Toby and this is Corbin. Corbin Hello. will be playing with this lovely Tyranid army. What detachment are you in? I am playing the Index Invasion Fleet uh, with uh, yeah, some, some, fun, some fun shenanigans. Lovely tasty lots of mini bugs versus the Death Guard, obviously just in Plague Company because they are still in Index Hammer. Um, lots of Plague Marines, lots of, lots of Plague Walkers. And they're going pox walkers even, not plague yeah. walkers. Yeah, you got some plague drones as well. We got some. We got so much plague stuff, and yeah. we are going to run at each other. Um, mm. And it's going to be a bit of a weird splat sound, I reckon. I hope so. I don't know really know what a gaunt sound makes, but I'm sure we're <laughs> going to find out. <laughs> gaunt versus plagued human flesh, tasty. Sounds good. <laughs> Three, one. Oh, okay. Um, you've got infiltrators, don't you? Uh, no, I have things that scout. Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually matter. For the Tyranid invasion fleet, Corbin has selected Swarming Instincts. That's going to give his whole army sustained hits one against infantry. Death Guard, on the other hand, have decided to use Squirm Blight Aura to buff their Contagion. That's going to reduce the weapon skill and ballistic skill of anything within Contagion range, which will stack really nicely with Typhus's minus one to hit in combat and also the Stratagem Cloud of Flies for minus one to hit at range. Both of these will effectively be minus two. So we are now fully deployed. Um, as you can see, we are kind of just going along the line. There's not much shooting in either army. Um, and if there is shooting, it's usually indirect because of the big nasty tank there. Bad man. Um, I think for the most part, we are just going to run at each other. I hope so. That's what I've deployed to do. So if you don't, I'm going to just be twiddling out, twiddling my thumbs well, in the middle, this scoring is, some points, hopefully. I'm not sure. I mean, we've both gone tactical. So that's going to be interesting because yeah. we were discussing what fix might look like. Yeah. Um, but I think we are just going to run and see what happens. Sounds good. All right, best of luck. Sounds good. Enjoy. Let's go. Three. One. One, you said it. You I, did I say. called it. I'm going second. Okay, which I think you kind of did but didn't want because... I wanted a little bit, yeah. I you... think I think for priority targets for the, the mission, the end of game scoring is going to be handy because if we start denying each other's primary, getting the, getting the 15 potentially at the end is good. Um, yeah, I'll just... Get my scout moves out of the way and I'll let you get yeah. your moves in. Crack on. Right, so I am going to choose to make your uh, ballistic skill and weapon skill one worse. That's if rude. You are within contagion range of me. Um, and then obviously I do keep you minus one toughness because I am the plague company. That is so rude. That is so rude. I don't like toughness too, Gaunt, so it really upsets me to be honest. Um, for invasion fleet, uh, I get to pick. Um, Basically, a sort of a, a doctrine, if you will, uh, for my whole army. I'm going to pick sustained hits against infantry army-wide. So it only works on infantry and beasts. Cool. Death Guard movement phase and Typhus and the Boxwalkers make a large advance to go and get extend battle lines down in the bottom right. The rest of the army just kind of prepares its pressure towards the centre objective in a typical Death Guard style. So that is my turn one movement phase done. We've achieved our secondary with a nice six on advance from Typhus and his pox walkers here. They're also now in a position where they're just about to start using Typhus's ability, um, which is a mortal wound spell um, rather than shooting, uh, into the gaunts just over there. So now that I'm in my shooting phase, oh, boys. what I'm going to try and achieve in this shooting phase is deal with these gene stealers right here. Um, and then chip some wounds off so that it forces Corbin to think about potentially um, spending CP uh, to bring guys back. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm just staging around this objective, fortressing around my demon prince here. So this objective is obviously gonna get a lot of attention on it. And we're just gonna try and chip away um, kill off some gene stealers because they are a massive pain in the backside um, and see what we can achieve. Uh, so we're going to start with um, the shooting phase um, and we're going to kick off with Typhus using the Eater Plague. Okay, that sounds bad. So on a D6, um, on a 1 he's going to hurt himself, um, on a 2 to 5 he's going to do D3 mortal wounds and on a 6 he does D3 plus 3. So let's see what happens. Easy one. That's a two, so he's gonna do D3 wounds. We're gonna switch dice, and he's gonna do three mortal wounds. Three gaunts down. So then what we're gonna do is, because this hell brute here can see the edges of those claws from over there, he's gonna go with his last cannon. So he's gonna hit, so hell brute, into gene stealers, and he's gonna hit on threes with the last cannon. He's gonna hit. He is. Uh, he's gonna wound on a two. I hope so. Um, so he wounds, uh, and on your invulnerable save, My five-up invulnerable obviously won't be spending any CP no. for rapid regeneration here. That is going to slay a gene stealer. So a gene stealer um, is a D6 plus one, so exactly. we don't need to roll damage. I'm going to roll it anyway. Uh, it's two damage. <laughs> oh, you've... Maybe you should have done it. You're an efficient man. Um, so th that unit is now under contagion range. Yep. Um, I'm really just doing that. Uh, for if they try and do anything nasty, particularly to Typhus and his unit. I might do that. Um, so, obviously, it'd be better if I was doing it to the Exocrine to make that worse shooting. Um, but, you know, you, you can't win it all. Okay, so next move we're going to do is we're going to just double check the range of these Mephitic Blight Haulers. Yeah, nice. So, these three Mephitic Blight Haulers, they are individual models, but they have all got line of sight over here onto the gene stealers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kick off with um, this one, uh, this mephitic bite hauler yep. using a frag missile. D6 uh, plus one for blast. Um, so number of shots is six. Toby fires two rockets from two mephitic blight haulers into the gene stealers and causes five damage. So then we've got some plague marines. We're going to kick off with the blight launcher. Um, oh, should we go with the plasma gun? I have a one wound dude. You have a one wound dude. With no feel, no pain, because I'm not done with CP on this. We're going to start with one of the plasma guns. Sounds good to me. And he's going to be not overcharging. Sounds good. Then the other one will overcharge. Will overcharge. Sounds and then, good. Uh, we've got the blight spewer as well. The non overcharged plasma and the blight launcher both missed their targets. So now it's just time for the overcharged plasma. Can't change the past. Cool. So then we've got the overcharged plasma, uh, which hits. Yep. And it wounds. Well, I've definitely have five up in one here. Yeah. I'm okay. And I hazardous. And oh. I do die. Karma. Dear me. Thanks. So I think we do really want to pick up that unit of gene stealers still. So let's go to the plague burst mortar. So unfortunately, he's not going to get um, blast because mm -hmm. there's now only four guys in the unit. Yep. Um, but D6 plus three, four, six. Yep. Hitting on fours. Uh, and we're looking for sixes because they're lethal. Oh, oh. Some lethals. Well, that's three lethals. Three lethals. <laughs> um, on your invulnerable save, please. It's it, oh, it's minus one, so um, oh, you get cover anyway, so it's just yeah. fives. So five up in vans on some, some boys. Uh, fell them all. Uh, three dead, please. Okie dokie. We will leave a dude on an objective. Yeah. Because that is, that is his purpose in life. Um, that is his purpose in life. I don't think we've got any way to stop said dude. So I think he's just going to be there, but obviously you're not scoring primary turn one. No. Um, and there's nothing you can do to sticky that objective with that one guy? No, I've got no sticky. I've got no fun stuff like that. No, okay. Well, that unit is basically now neutered. Um, yeah. Sure, if there's like a cleanse or something like that, obviously he's got to pass his battle shock. He does. Um, but I think that will be me done. Sounds good. For the turn. Um, so over to you. Okay, going into my command phase, I've got the Swarm Lord, so I'm going to be going up to 3 CP in my turn. Uh, Toby did discard behind enemy lines that he drew, so he is up to 3 in my turn as well. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to roll for uh, is going to be the Gene Stealer's uh, leadership for the Battle Shock, because uh, they are under half. Unfortunately, not in synapse range, so it's just going to be 2d6 on this, so on a 7 or higher. Uh, they are, he is a Battle Shock man, uh, unfortunately, because I am not in synapse range for the 3d6. In the command phase, the Tyranids draw deploy homers and no prisoners. 
Deploy homers is done by the termagants in the middle of the board. They get a 3 in their advance roll, and with their assault weapons, deploy homers for 3 points. No prisoners is a bit unlucky for this Tyranid army. It really wants to be doing their damage turn 2 and getting in position turn 1. Okay, so that's movement wrapped up. Um, we've done a bit of shuffling around to hold an objective with a battle shocked, uh, poor battle shocked gene stealer. Uh, so we need some other stuff to hold that objective, uh, hopefully. Um, gargoyles went not towards the middle because they're scary flamers, uh, and that seems bad, I'll be honest. Uh, it's not something that I want. Uh, and then we've just pushed up uh, a little bit more on this flank over here. We've got some warriors coming in. Obviously the gargoyles are here. We've got an x that's moved out to shoot some plague marines in the middle. Uh, we've got this unit of termagants uh, in the middle to do my homers. And then I've pushed out the 20 man block to come tussle with Typhus because that seems fun. And that is really it. We're just really gonna, gonna, gonna shoot you with a unit, deploy an action and uh, get it going. Go! So, it's gonna be D6 plus three blast. But mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, do we cloud of flies? It is a strategic ploy, so yeah, I am going, and that's the only target you're shooting this turn, isn't it? Nothing else. Yeah, so we'll spend a CP on cloud of flies on this Death Guard, uh, Death Plague Marine unit here. Shots. So two, so five, so six shots. Six shots. So hitting you on fours now with sustain. So it has made some difference, but we will put two sustains back in to hit you four times. Yep. Uh, I am going to be winning oh, you please. on threes because you're yeah, a T5 man. I am. I've, 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 you're I've a, you're power armor. semi chunky. Yeah. What? The spinner. So it's going <laughs> to be two at minus three. You will get cover. Okay, so we're looking for five ups. Indeed. <laughs> Snake eyes. They are three damage apiece for your Phil No Pain. Sir. Okay, so um, it is a six up Phil No Pain. So on the first one, uh, he's dead. Okay, and on okay. the second one, uh, he is still dead. He is still dead. So we'll take the uh, flamer and the. Actually, we'll take the combat weapons. Yeah, we'll take the combat weapons and we'll leave the sergeant and the flamer. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, for the ability of the Exocrine, not going to come into effect, but so people are aware, I would now get reroll ones to hit on that unit from the Exocrine, because cool. that's a good ability. That is. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be shooting anything else at it, because the Termagants, as much as you should fear them with their deadly shooting, because I will wound you on fours with uh, that strength five flesh boy. Uh, however, they are going to play for point and get me some homers. Those poor bugs like having to bore into the flesh of a plague room. Imagine how much that would suck. Yeah, they, they just they just love the biomass, man. They're programmed to it, aren't they, really? So they, they don't really get a say in it. Yeah, the hive mind's control and that sort of stuff. Oh, poor guys. They love it, though. Right. Gotta believe. Let's scrap. So that's not, I'm not going not gonna to be charging anything. So no charges. Tyranids mm. are not charging. Not charging. Boo. I can't. I'm, you're too far away, man. Yeah, fair. I'm too far away. Uh, that's gonna. That's really gonna be me. It. I'll. Um, I'm gonna discard my prisoners, obviously, because um, I'm not gonna score that. Uh, and I'll, I'll gain some CP, and uh, I'll pass it back over to you, man. Let's go. In Death Guard turn two, they draw capture enemy outpost and area denial. With a decent amount near the centre of the board, area denial is looking pretty good. But with no way of getting even close to the Tyranid's home objective, let alone dealing with the Swarm Lord, capture enemy outpost is replaced with tempting target for a CP. Both players been quite unlucky with the draws here. Movement phase sees the Death Guard predictably shamble towards the centre objective, in hopes of securing area denial. Down at the south side of the map, Typhus and the Boxwalkers prepare to engage the Gaunts, and at the north side of the map there's a rapid ingress from the Screamer Killer. Again, it's just kind of shuffling forward. Um, I have had to move a couple of bits back because I've got to think about the three inch deep strike potential. Yep. Um, it's not rapid ingressing, so it's not no. going to charge me. So to be perfectly honest, I'm not actually bothered um, mm -hmm. about it for the most part now. Um, what I am more bothered about is uh, these gargoyles here. So I'm going to probably end up charging them. The Screamer Killer is going to be interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to deal with that yet but I think it's going to be some amount of Plague Marines um, shifting across uh, and maybe the Demon Prince too. Yeah. Demon Prince is really, really tanky. Yeah, um, for sure. So I think now that we're going into the shooting phase, mm. um, we're going to kick things off um, by shooting the Dreadnought into the Maliceptor. Sure. So um, we're looking for a three, and we're going to miss. Okay. So do I want to CP reroll that? I think I do. To get me in container if you need to hit me, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's so, fair. threes. You got hit me. Uh, wounding on a three. Yeah, T11. Uh, that's a one. So, okay. um, he is contagioned. 
Yeah, and we no longer plague weapons, so we can't... Oh, it's Twin Links! Yeah. It's oh, Twin oh. Links! Um, thank you, Servo Skull. Okay, that's all fun. It does wound right, me. So it does wound. Um, on your vulnerable side. I am a four up in Von. Yeah. Blessed. I'm yeah, good. he's fine. <laughs> all of that talk. Okay. But he is I am now a, in I am contagion. I am I am feeling feeling the nerg. You are feeling the feeling, nerg. Feeling the nerg. The malignant plague caster here is going to give um minus one to wound because I'm thinking I want to charge with Piper's unit to those gaunts over there. Oh, um no. just try and make those gaunts a little bit tougher. Or we'll be John Six or something. Um, exactly. <laughs> That's not ideal. So um Let's uh, see if it goes off. Um, on a one, it will fail and hurt him. It doesn't, so they are okay. now minus one to wound in combat. Okie dokie. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll use his flame. So everything is going into that gaunt unit there. We need to try and so. kill them for area denial. So um, it is going to be d6 plus three for this focused witch fire plague Sounds wind. Good. So mm. yeah, no. it's five, so eight shots. Yeah. This is um, strength six, so I'm winning on twos. Torrents are automatically hitting. Sounds good. Um, and uh, it's going to be d3 damage with minus two. So it will put you on a seven up save, but then you'll get cover. So, so I'll up. take some sixes. Because um, it's not ignore cover, which is weird for a, a flamer. Wind. That is weird. Um, so he's going to fart on you. Oh no. Six wounds. Six saves for um, me. On six ups, please. I'll try my best. I am going to make two, good. Yeah. so I am going to kill four four boys, uh, and they are going to come from the back here. So four Termagants have been winded. Uh, now we're going to use the Plague Spewer for D6 shots. That seems bad. Oh no. Six. That's bad. Oh, I need to Hazardous. Oh, give Let's me a Hazardous. Give me a Hazardous. Oh. Ooh, plague Spewer, so we're wounding on twos, um, and we are ignoring cover, and it's minus one. So I'll get six ups again. Yes. Sounds good to me. Uh, so that is two ones, so, so another four. Another four. You, what the people say, you are a consistent man. I am a consistent man. I will make so are you. three. Oh, you've killed a Gaunt. You've made three six ups. Let me, let, me put, let, me, let, me, let me put those dice to another side real quick. Yeah, yeah, they're, let, they're let's the save, weighted ones. Let's save them, boys. Well, I'm just wondering, so I've got line of sight, is yep. there a gaunt there? Uh, there are all gaunts touching a wall, so yes, you are within Excellent. 12 of that squad. So in that case, you're, you're about to not like this. Oh, Because that's another flamer. I dislike it already. Um, yeah, sounds good. So we will kick off with um, the Foul Blight Spawn's Plague Sprayer. Oh, it just all sounds bad. Um, so this is D6 shots. I want to ignore this cover. I can't, at least I, I can't spike sixes this that's time. That's five. God, this, is, this is not good. Um, and it's wounding on twos. My poor boys. Um, and every two is a dead. It is a dead is a man. Dead I do not get any of the stuff. That's you have dead. killed four. That is the rest of the squad. Yay! They are. They have been slain. Good foul blight spawn. They have got um, me. They have got me. Uh, the deploy teleport homer in my turn. That does also that kill means you will get your five on Aridan as well. Exactly. Which was exactly. which was the main thing. It was needed um, yeah, for sure. So. Next up, these two Myphitics put their Bile Spurts into the Gaunts and their Crack Missiles and Multi Melters into the Maliceptor. Myphitics actually get a special rule, plus one to wound, for their Tank Hunter's ability, which would be nice, but it only applies to vehicles and not monsters. Definitely one for GW to amend, if you ask me. What we will do now is we're going to do Typhus's ability. I'm actually going to do it into the Tyranid Warriors. Sounds good. On a one, obviously D3 Mortals. On a two to five, um, it is D3. Three. On a six, it is D3 plus three. Typhus targets the Tyranid Warriors at the bottom of the map with his Eater Plague ability. He rolls a 6, meaning it's going to be D3 plus 3, and comes out as 5 mortal wounds. I think this would have been better into the Maliceptor, um, and of course I would have showed you this, but Toby managed to body slam the dice camera and disconnect it. So now we're looking to move to the charge phase. Um, there's a couple of long bomb charges that mm. I've got to make, um, and I do have the CP to reroll. You do. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm really going to try and pressure this Gorn unit here with Typhus and his guys. Yep. Um, his his pox walkers. So um, this area is going to be a nice big combat. Um, what I really want to do is actually pin Corbin back a little bit um, with those gene stealers as well, make them chew through more units before mm -hmm. they're able to start going for me. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to try and get this uh, this drone into the, um, gargoyles. the gargoyles yeah. there. In the charge phase, the bloat drone fails its 10-inch charge into the gargoyles, and Typhus just about makes it into the termagants on a 4. In the fight phase, Toby spends 1 CP on Sanguinous Flux, giving Typhus and the Boxwalkers sustained on 2 because they're on an objective. In return, Corbin spends 1 CP on Rapid Regeneration again for another 5-up feel no pain on the termagants. 
After the dust settles, all of the termagants are dead, but only just. Looks like that sustain two really came in handy. So I'd say a good turn for me. Um, I'm going to score five in area denial, and I'm going to scrap um, the uh, secondary objective, which was tempting target. It was. Which this objective yes. here. So I'm going to scrap that for a CP. Mm -hmm. So I've got five points total. So this has been a 15 point turn for me. In the Tyranids turn two, they're going to score 10 points on the primary for holding two objectives. They're going to get two command points thanks to the Swarm Lord, and they draw Cleanse and Storm Hostile objective, which really only leaves the center. Corbin moves his Gene Stealers and Brute Lord near to the center objective, and then there's an Overwatch from the Malignant Plague Caster, who has an auto hitting weapon, and the Plague Spewer on the Marines that he's leading. Toby rolls a 1 for the number of shots from the Malignant Plague Caster, and then uses another CP to re roll that getting a three, so it's six shots in total. It does wound on twos though, because of the Gene Stealers being in Contagion range and the Overcharged Witchfire being on Strength 6. All in all, that two CP Overwatch kills three Gene Stealers. It's not bad, but it's probably gonna still mean that those Marines are dead. And right at the end of the movement phase, we see the Gargoyles zoom in to try and move block those Plague Marines in the middle. Cards I drew, got Storm, Hostile and Cleanse. We've, we've worked our way to be able to get both of those. We've got our lovely little lone gene stealer who's passed his battle shock. He is going to cleanse to me on this objective over here. We've decided to come out with some gargoyles here because we've already had an overwatch from under the gene stealers. So they've come up, done a little bit of, of wrapping and screening, got some dudes on the objective uh, with fly, and they are going to cleanse in the middle as well. Uh, currently, you can test that, but hopefully, if I can make a charge with the gene stealers, I can sort of swing that. Uh, I'm really hoping so. Uh, and then we can go from there. After the rapid ingress, Screamer Killers come up on this flank to try and charge a, uh, a drone of, of the plague variety. What are we gonna do? I think we're gonna shoot here first. We're gonna shoot with the boys. Mm. Um, so shooting the um, uh, Exocrine into the Plague Marine squad? I think, yeah, I think the Exocrine into the big the big fights first with the putrefi uh, yeah. Putrefier. So you are a 10-man squad currently. I am, so I'm blasting, I'm actually 11. Ooh, so this is going to be D6 plus 3 yeah. plus another 2. Yeah, so D6 plus 5. Exactly. We're going to do that with obviously sustained hits as well. Yeah. 4, so that's going to be 4, 9, nine shots. So I'm going to be hitting you on 3s here because I am out of the contagion nastiness. Mm -hmm. So hitting you on 3s, uh, no rerolls unfortunately, uh, but I do get sustained hits on yes. this as well. So no sustained, but I do only miss twice. Uh, but I think I am okay with handing you six saves at minus three with some cover. So fives. Are uh, we going to fail all of them? Oh, yeah. So that is, that's a few dead. That is a few dead. All of the three damage feel no pains were failed. Corbin then decides to make the screamer killer uh, scream at those poxwalkers on the home objective. He only kills one, but he does battle shock them, which I'm sure is a cause of great concern for Toby. Unfortunately, the sticky objectives will hand you the, uh, the shenanigans. Plan, yeah. The plan was if I could three inch deep track the Morlock as well, now you're shot. I would then take it from you to give you the five, but I think we then probably just kill that um, the, the Trigon, which doesn't seem very, very ideal for me. Mm. Um, but adding you a five would have been quite nice. Let us shoot a Maliceptor into some Terminators. Sure. Some, some Death Shroud, I believe. So this is D6 plus three. Okay. So Ooh. that's nine. That's not what we wanted. That's good. That is good. So, uh, these are hitting you on threes, but now fours because of Contagion. Yep. But sustained again because you are an infantry model. It certainly is. Um, and I'm not uh, minus one to wound because I'm, they're not being led. I see. Uh, so we will fail three here because you're minus one, but two yeah. will go back in for sustained. Yeah. Uh, strength 10 on these, so uh, threes because you're T6 I on a death shroud. So, yeah. so we will be looking for the threes here. Drop a few, so that looks to be Four at minus two, you will very much get cover. Uh, so, so four traps? Indeed. I said more. They are all okay. So that's where my good dice rolls were. There we are. <laughs> Rather than the plague marines yeah, there. Yeah, they don't there. they don't want any of that. They're fine. They're death shroud, they're more resilient. They they don't care about that sort of stuff. Uh, however, I am in range with all of my zone throats in the far corner. They are gonna shoot out the pox walkers down there. You are a very, very big blastable oh, yeah. man. Go. So this is going to be 3d6 yeah. plus 4 each because you're a 20-man squad because they're blast. So that is going to be 8 but plus 12. Yeah, so 20 so shots. 20. Ironically, I have 20 dice here. 
You're not in contagion range. No, I am not. So I'm hitting you currently on threes, but fours because typhus, because it works in both? No, or is it just it's in combat? combat. Oh, okay, just in combat. So I will be hitting you on threes here. Again, sustained on these as well. Oh, that's a lot of sustained. Five. T4. T4, sorry, I'm strength five, is what I was okay. what I was going for. Uh, so we're you on threes. Yeah. So I have failed a total of four times. So out of 20, that is 16 saves, if you could, please. Okay. I'm AP zero on this. 16. Okay, so we look at the sixes. That's not bad. That's a few. We'll take four sixes. That's not bad. And then we've got a five, five up, up, up for your no pains. Not bad at all. So that is Stop. another five Stop taken killed. out. Seven. You've killed. Because they are one with each. They are indeed, yeah. Okie dokie. So seven guys. Okay. Go on. That is good. Uh, I think that is all of my shooting. We have had a Tranifactus advanced, so he's not he's not eligible to shoot, unfortunately. Uh, and the Gargoyles and this lonely Jane Sealer are doing actions. So that will go on to some charges, I think. Yeah. So, charges, what's going first? Uh, we're going to charge Maliceptor into Typhus' squad, I think. Okay. Um, because currently, I'll make you then minus one to hit in combat. So, I'm going to do what you do to me, back to you. You will be minus two because of the weapon skill the contagion and is, is, contagion. Yeah, that is that is fine uh, with the sustains and all, all the shenanigans there. So, the Maliceptor will charge him first. Uh, at 11, he goes where he feels. Uh, it's an eight inch charge for those warriors. So, we'll see if they can do something. Uh, yes, they can. So we play this. This look at this charge here first. So I'm currently outside of eight. So that's another eight on the on the, the warriors. I am in on an eight. I only do exactly what I need, so I cannot base you. That is apparently what I I do now uh, on there. And let's have a look to see what this double charge is looking like from here. So I have a CP. So am I within seven there? So seven, six yeah. inch charge. Or I go for the guaranteed one for the points. I probably get Storm either way, and I don't know if I am going to be able to kill that in combat. I think we're just going to play it safe with this one, I think. We're just going to charge the um, the Marines in front of me, I think. Good thing too. Yeah. There we go. And that is why we sometimes play it safe. The Screamer Killer is going to charge this, this, this fella here. You need not double ones. He's in. Yeah, a lot of eights. So eight back of my base, I can go oh, and pile into your objective if I kill him. So Screamer Killer's gonna go first, he gets 10 attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, he, the lead he hits on three, so we'll hit on fours now. Uh, and we'll get no uh, buffs, however, he does hit on threes. However, he does get no buffs or anything like that because you're not, not, a, not an infantry model. So just hitting you on fours here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's gonna. we're going to pop anything here, so we're just going to go for some fours. Uh, that's not great, and we are looking for threes to wound. Uh, we're about to slow roll for the CP, so we're just going to take three, uh, three uh, minus two, three damage each. So, uh, five, uh, five ups. Uh, save two, takes three. So he takes three damage, and we're going to hit you with some warriors. Go wild. Minus one to hit, please. I am. So I believe I go from threes to fours. I'm liking this contagion range. Malarkey. It is highly annoying. Uh, oh, if only that was against um, the infantry, infantry stuff. Infantry, yeah. Yeah, it could be good. Uh, then we need on five twin link. Yes. yes. Uh, so it's going to be one good thing with twin link. Yeah. We, we approve of such a thing. Uh, just two at minus two, one damage. Uh, so fives. Uh, fail them both, so I've got Fear him. Um, eight wounds remaining. So we have all the Gene Steers are attacking. Uh, we're going to go with the Broodlord first, because why wouldn't I go with the Broodlord oh. first? Uh, five attacks hitting on threes now. Uh, hit you that many times, but sustained, because you're an infantry model. Yep. Uh, I'm wounding you tough, um, strength six. So threes. Twin linked, dev wounds. Yes. Are you fishing? Of course. Uh, no, but I'm just going to keep those actually. Okay. And we're going to fish. Uh, so that is just going to be four at minus two, two damage, please. Uh, I'm going to have to slow roll these because I've got a character. So uh, one Plague Marine is dead, two Plague Marines are dead. Your no pain as well. And then, oh yeah, so I've saved one and then well, let's do... So oh, so alive. he's on one wound yep. and then he's super dead. dead. 
And then... And then uh, the next guy, I need to pass one of these filler canes. Okay, so no. The Marines are dead. So the Marines are gone. And then the horrendous amount of attacks Gene Sears are going to do. I mean, I I'm going to I'm gonna have to make you roll it. Uh, so that is going to be... Two devs at the end. And then if you can give me two more saves at minus two, please. Uh, two five-ups. Clear the tray for you, sir. Uh, so pass one. Three damage I don't in think total. He's dead. I don't believe so. No, he's alive on a wound. But I do think I'm okay with having me still be in combat. Next up, Corbin pops Adrenal Surge on the Malaceptor and the Warriors going into Typhus's unit. They're going to get minus one to hit from Typhus and minus one weapon skill from the Contagion. That means they're going to be hitting on fives, so they might as well crit on fives too. So 12 attacks, hitting on fives, all of them are going to be sustaining and then rerolling ones on these as well. Ooh. Re roll those ones. Strength five, plus four, yeah. so Three. threes, twin, twin link. Yeah. Don't really need twin link when I can you roll like that, do you really? No, oh, you've got another two here. Oh, well. that's another two, thank you very much. Uh, so that's going to be 11 minus 2, 1 damage a pop, please. Uh, so 11 feel no pains. Sounds good to me. And 11. So we're looking for 5 up feel no pains. Do we feel pain? We do feel some pain. So you drop 4 there, so 7 die. 7 more are dead. Oof. So then it's the turn of the Maliceptor to swing into Typhus's unit. And he's also going to get sustained on 5s. Uh, so 6 attacks hitting you on 5s with the sustained shenaniganry yeah. uh, that we had before. Uh, none. That overall minus two to hit doing wonders for the Death Guard. I'm done. So, um, I think we're going to start with this Plague Drone. Sure. Into your Screamer Killer. So, ten attacks and they're going to be hitting on threes. Sounds good. Oh dear. That's not what you're looking for. No, so that's half of them dropped immediately. Fives. It is. Uh, two up save, sorry, goes up to a three. Yep. I'm, Ooh, an, I'm an okay boy. So this drone is now going to declare its attacks into these Tyranid warriors yeah. right here. And in return, I'm going to spend my final CP to do rapid regeneration again, which, because they're a, they are a synapse unit, they have to be in range, will be a five up. Okay, so hitting on threes. Uh, so drop three, so that's a little bit better that than good. the previous time. Wounding on threes. Yes, I'm T5. Um, you're actually T4. Or oh, because I'm a, I'm, I'm a contagion boy. You are. Uh, so we'll drop one, so that is six at minus one or two? Minus one. Minus one, so, so six, five bucks. Five bucks, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I failed two, so that's four damage, so it can't possibly, it can only kill one of them. Yeah. So I'll just do all the Fiona Pains now. Yeah. Two damage each. Uh, make two, so one's on a one. Damn, that's real not good. Um, so those drones have performed really poorly, um, to be perfectly honest. After having his whole squad wiped out with the Gene Stealers, the malignant playcaster manages to dish out a single wound in return. Typhus is going to go in with his 10 attacks. With Typhus and the Poxwalkers under half strength, the Maliceptor's debuff is going to be minus one to hit and wound. Debuffs going both ways in the bottom half of the map. So threes. All right. A little bit of difference We'll take there. that. Um, they are lethal, so three lethals. That is correct. And then uh, these are wounding on fours. Yes. Ooh, oh, good dear, okay. So um, three at minus one. Minus so one, so five up. five up again. Uh, make one. So one is dead and one's on two wins remaining. And then... Is it um, one, yeah, one damage each, right? Yeah. Yep. Despite Toby getting an extra Poxwalker back for the slain Tyranid Warrior, the Poxwalkers managed to do no damage. Hitting on sixes is really tough for them. At the end of Tyranid's turn two, they're going to score five points for cleansing two objectives, and they took that centre objective away from the Plague Marines, giving them another five. 10 on secondary and 10 on primary is a good turn for the Tyranids. The question is, will they be able to survive the counterpunch from the Death Guard? Mm. Um, so uh, I've scored 10 on primary because I hold this objective and this objective. So that's that's 10 points. And I've just got Storm Hostile objective. Yeah. And I've also got um, bring, it down. bring It Down. So we need to kill this little fella here. The monsters. And we need to kill that little fella over there. Um, so we've got some options, some mm -hmm. really nice options. Turn three movement phase sees the bloat drone fall out of combat with the screamer killer. That's going to make it easier for the plague burst crawler to target. With the bloat drone's ability to fall back and charge, he's always got the option of finishing it off in combat, even with a tank shock. The plague caster in the middle manages his desperate escape, and then another plague marine squad rushes the middle to try and shift those gene stealers. The bloat drone near the centre also falls out of combat, 
but it heads straight for the top left objective. He's going to try and deal with that last remaining gene stealer because if he does, his higher OC will mean he takes the objective off the Exocrine. Typhus also falls out of combat, but he's still going to be able to do his mortal wound ability, so it looks like the Myphitics are expected to do the heavy lifting against the Maliceptor. And then lastly, there's another rapid ingress, this time from the Trigon. But is it too little too late? So this really, this does need to be a go turn for me though, I think. I think so. Um, so we'll, we'll see what, what happens um, mm -hmm. in this turn. So we're going to kick things off um, with the uh, free grenade stratagem from this squad, sure. uh, this Plague Marine squad, because of the um, uh, putrefire. putrefire. They get to use grenades for free once per turn, so they're oh, going to use that into the Screamer Killer. Sounds so we're looking good. for six dice. And every... Every four up to mortal. It is indeed. Uh, so that is four oh, mortal wounds. He's down to six. Uh, if I can find the six, there we go. Then what we shall do is we'll shoot the um, Mephitic Blight Hauler. Yep. Which hopefully should be within nine, just within nine. Cool. Into the Screamer Killer. So he's going to start with the Melters. Sounds good. Um, so you're now toughness... Eight. eight. Nine for eight yeah. because of your minus one, yeah. So um, hitting on threes. Oh, that's really rough. That's not, not it. You um, do have the backup entropy cannons and stuff to I go do, in. I do, yeah. So I'm going to have to just uh, then go to the crack missile. Yep. That hits. And then wounds on a three, uh, which doesn't wound. So nope. that was really disappointing. Nope. I'm um, ready. And then the plague spurt. Uh, so we're looking for threes. Um, so that's one lethal and two hits. Wounding on fives. That's a drop. Uh, so two wounds on your two up, please. Yes, sir. I am very You're okay. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, so that's that's really disappointing. The demon prince. He's got a plague spewer. Ooh. Which is D6 um, shots, torrent, anti infantry two, ignores cover minus one. Um, shockingly, he's going to go in here. Oh. Okay, so okay. number of shots. It's one. one. Still can kill so this, the one this, wound. This go turn is not going well. No. Um, so, uh, does it wound on a two? It does wound. Minus one. Five up save, please. That I can try for you. I'm okay. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got the best round going into the single Tyranid Warrior. Yep. They're going to be wounding on fours to Sun Team Victory 4 and Correct. 15 shots. Sounds good. So, that is. Seven, six dropped, so nine wounds, um, oh, and AP good. dash. So nine four up saves, please. Four ups. Uh, he gave it a go. <laughs> he did try. He tried his very best, but he, he has been slain. So we picked him up. He has he has been picked up. Which is quite important to think. So yeah, so type ability into the Mana Scepter. Uh, so it goes off, so D3 for three. Band to eight. First Mephitic Light Hauler into the um, Mana Scepter. My boy. So Melter hits once, yep. wounding on a five. No. no. Um, and then the Crack Missile hits, yep. wounding on a five. No. no. Uh, and then the Spurts. Yep. Uh, one lethal, so one, one hit. One lethal, one hit, and that needs a six. Oh, so two. Two. I'll take uh, three up saves. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay. And then we go to the next one. So Melters. Hits twice, needs fives, uh, one, uh, mo uh, on your inbound. Yep. So fail it. So D6 plus two. So that's six. Uh, down to two. Um, and then the crack missile yep. uh, hits, wounds. Um, uh, three up on this one. Four up. Uh, fail it. Uh, D6 is six. So does he blow? No. no. Okay, so that is now my bring it down scored. The Hellbrute then turns Sniper and does two damage to the Trigon at long range. Next up, the Plague Burst Crawler is going to put the Mortar into the Gene Stealers in the middle and then the Entropy Cannons into the Screamer Killer. So we're going to do the Entropy Cannons first. So threes hits once. Lethal, I, I believe. I think that is lethal. I believe it's lethal. It is. Mm. So minus three, so five up save, please. Five up save. Come on up. No. Uh, so it's D6 plus one. So we're looking for a five. That's a one. Do I command point that? Okay. So we'll spend the command point on the command point reroll. Into another one. It's a one. <laughs> the Rothel volley gun plinks another wound off. That means he's down to just three left. We do the mortar, which is going to be d6 plus three plus an additional one. Force to hit, six to lethal. Yes. Uh, so that is not good. Um, and then twos. Yes. Uh, so three um, on your Invon. Invon save. And each one is a little I'd Take my fancy. 
Uh, you will kill two. Two dead. So the one on one wound and another one has been slain. Yeah. I think we kick things off with this squad um, sure. of Plague Marines firing into uh, the um, Screamer Killer. Absolutely. So we'll start off with the two plasma guns, and they are going to overcharge because it is relevant now. Yes. Hitting on threes. Yeah, uh, they all hit. Uh, wounding on fours. Here's minus one. Uh, that's two wounds at minus three. So two five ups. Yeah, certainly is. Uh, two damage. Down to one, and what is your hazard that's looking like, sir? I'm okay. So the Screamer Killer's still alive on one wound, and Tubby thinks that the Biologist Putrefier has the right grenade for the job. So Hyper Blight Grenade. So D6. Ooh. Yeah. For four. Hitting on uh, threes, and they are lethaling on sixes. They are. Uh, so one lethal one and hit. one hit, and then they're wounding on uh, fives. Five. So that's two wounds at minus one, please. So two three ups. Yep. Uh, he he is goes down. Down do explode. No. no. The last little bit of shooting sees the foul blight spawn remove the two warriors to the north, and his squad takes out a couple of gargoyles. In the charge phase, the death shrouds make it into the gene stealers in the centre, as do the marines already in the ruins. The bloat drone makes its unfailable charge into the lone gene stealer top left, and the demon prince and plague marines make it into the gargoyles. So we're going to start off um, because we worked out that if the um, demon prince here consolidates, mm -hmm. um, he can consolidate into the gene stealers. So, so um, the plague marines here are going to kick off the fights first. So. The Plague Marines start the fight phase by chopping the gargoyles into little pieces, so much so that the Demon Prince doesn't even need to lift a finger. So the Death Shroud are going to try and pick up these Gene Stealers. They so are. they're going to hit on twos, yep. um, and they've got two damage strike profiles. That's what I'm going for. So 12 Target. attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, cool. So that's nine hits, yep. wounding on twos because it's strength eight. Yep, and I am currently T3. Uh, so that is... Seven. Seven wounds at my, on your invulnerable save, please. Yeah, so we've got four there, so I'll do four five ups because the Brutalors are four up in Vun instead. Yes. So four five ups here for since the four gene stealers that are left. Uh, two have survived. <laughs> They're all dead. And then one four up on the um, Brutalord, Brutalord yeah. which he takes. Two damage. I am going to accept the two damage uh, and make him go down to four. Okay, so the Demon Prince is Ooh. going to step up. Um, and he is going to use his Hellforged weapon strike profile. Ooh, is this a strike I should be scared of? This is. Oh, uh, okay. This is six attacks, oh, hitting no. on twos, strength eight, AP minus two, three damage. Cool. So, twos. Yes. They all go through. Is that lethal? No. No. You are winning me on twos anyway. I am now winning twos. Um, twos. One fail, so five, four up, invulnerable saves. Three with, a, with a reroll. That I with a reroll. Three uh, I'll use the reroll. You will. Or oh, I take one damage. Three damage piece. He is dead. He is slain. He has. He has been slain. The last little bit of combat to resolve is the fitted bloat drone in the top left into the last gene stealer on the objective. Uh, threes. Yep. The lethals. Four lethals. Um, so four lethals. Wounding on uh, twos. Yes, because I'm T three currently. Uh, so that's eight wounds, please. Oh look, he's dead. He gave it a, a, a good he try. He did give it a good go. He and tried his very best, and then and you're gonna so that I can get my extra three. Yeah. Terminators are going to come on to this objective. Come here. on, the extra three inches. Basically, their entirety of their move and that consolidate. So you get to punch me back. Uh, I do. Whatever an extra green does in combat. Powerful limbs. Powerful is... limbs. Three attacks. Uh, hitting on fours or fives. Fours because of your uh, shenaniganry. Uh, I hit you twice. Uh, strength seven, so uh, fives. Fives, yeah. Two saves. Two saves. No AP. Uh, threes. Two damage each. <laughs> um, down to five. Oh. Uh, so, end of the turn. Yep. I will score... Um, bring it down. Storm and bring it down for seven. Yes. So, so bring it down seven and storm for five. For a total of 12 points that yes. turn for secondaries. All right, so command phase. Uh, not too much is going to be going down really with the command phase. Um, not going to do any shadows or anything like that. Not really, not really the time for that. So Swarm Lord's just going to give me an extra CP because um, he's nice like that. Uh, we're going to draw two cards. Uh, we've got investigate signals and assassination. Uh, so signals. We've got a couple of Ripper Swarms in reserve, so we're probably going to put them in some corners uh, and get signals there. 
And then, funnily enough, because he didn't die to the Desperate Escape, there is a lovely little one wound uh, plague man uh, of, plague cast of a cast of variety that hopefully, maybe, uh, can give me uh, some assassination points. Yeah. Shooting phase. Uh, I'm going to do some quick actions with some signaling in, in the corner with a Ripper Swarm down here and another one that's decided to deep strike his way down there. Uh, we've had another one who's just going to be hiding in this building because there's no actions that he can really do. So he's just going to be there ready, ready for his time to shine. Yeah. Uh, as a Ripper likes to do. Corbin decides to kick off the shooting phase by putting the three Xanthropes with their last cannon profile into the wounded bloat drone on the top left hand objective. Fours with six of lethal. Uh, so one hit. We know uh, three? It is, yeah. There's one, this is minus three. Uh, so five up, demon save. It's good. Uh, we have, we're gonna go with the Tran effects into the Plague Marines. Yep. Uh, so it's D6 plus six Certainly for is. the Flamer. So that is gonna be 11 shots. I have been on the receipt, well, I've done this with the Land Raider Redeemer into Plague Marines before. It doesn't end well for Plague Marines. Yeah, so this is strength six minus two, two damage. It ignores cover? Uh, it does not ignore cover. So you will you will be at a uh, minus one effectively on this okay. one. So this is still straight six. So yes. uh, if you can give is that me all of them? ten saves, ten saves, please. ten four ups, ten four up, two damage a pop. Toby makes a bunch of four up saves, and then the six up feel no pain from the demon prince means he only loses two plague marines. Two marines are dead. Two marines are dead. One's on a wound. Yeah. Uh, I have my stinger salvo also to shoot at you. So we have eight shots here, so hitting you on threes. Uh. But you want to uh, ballistic skill? No, I'm just saying hit on fours. Oh, because I'm screwed. <laughs> You're fine. So, hitting you on fours with this, but you are infantry, so I do get my sustain too. Yes. Uh, so, I will drop four, but do you go back in for the yep. sustain? Um, uh, that's fine. Strength five. So, fours. Uh, three, no AP. Uh, Same more. He is okay. Uh, we are going to shoot. Uh, the Swarm Lord into your Death Shroud. Yep. I actually might shoot at Plague Marines instead, because I'm with an 18 of both, so I'm actually... Uh oh. We're going to do Plague Marines. Yeah. Uh, so D3 plus 3. Four. Four. Four to hit. They are also hitting. Uh, winning your fours. Okay. Uh, for strength five. Whoop, Spinny. So it's going to be three minus one. Again, torrent, but no ignores cover. Um, Can you see my fools? No, I guess you can't. Fully see my squad. No. no, no, you will be getting covered. So they will be three ups. No, two no. damage. He, so the guy on one, one wound is dead. dead, and then one more save. Okay. All good. So cool. Okay, the Morlock is all through the Trigon. It's going to do his uh, funny gun into your playcaster. So how many shots does he have? He believe and he has six shots that are sustained two. And what's his ballistic skill? Uh, I believe he has a three up, so okay. it goes to a. Four with your shenanigans. Hitting on fours. I'm gonna cloud of flies and pray that somehow this works. Okay. So hitting you on fives. Six is sustained. sustained. Yeah. Six is sustained too. So I just have to pray here now. Oh, that's oh, not going no. well at all. Oh, that's not going well at all. Uh, so effectively, I hit you five times. One. So two for the six. Two for another six. Two for another six. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's toughness. Five. So four. Yeah. Four injury. Uh. If you could give me six saves at no AP, please. Six saves at no AP, you say? You never that know. is correct. You never know. Oh, he's just... So three, six. We need triple six. Triple six. Triple six. I believe in you. Oh, oh you gave it a good go. So close. You really tried. But that, so is, close. that is thankfully my assassinate. Oh, man. Let's see. I, I think that was the right decision because... Yeah. If, if that had just worked out, then he wouldn't. Mm. I would. You wouldn't have scored five on the assassinate. The only thing I've got left to shoot is this guy, mm -hmm. uh, and because he can't can't shoot blast into combat, he's gonna have to shoot it at these dudes. Okay. Not the demon prince. No. No, I wanted to charge him. Okay. So we'll shoot into here. So D six plus three, but blast yeah. again. So four. So with blast, and the eight shots. Yep. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah, and Contagion and uh, minus one to hit. So hitting you on fives with sustains. Yeah. Uh, so hits three times, four one sustains, so four hits. And then threes. Threes. Uh, 
two minus two effectively because of cover. So fives. That is. Uh, we save one. One and then three for the fill no pains. Okay. Oh. Fill unfortunately has been slain. One does go down. Right. Charges. It looks like we're going to do some charges here. Charge first here with the uh, trigon. That's a three. I do still make it. So just. I'll just I will just pop myself in there. So it looks like an eight inch charge to be able to get into engagement range. Yep. Or I can go for the eight there and pile onto the objective. We're gonna charge these ones instead. Cool. So, so what we get, I do have a CP. Uh, you're gonna need it. <laughs> I will need it, so I'll drop myself down to one. He's in on a 10. I am on a 10. And while Swarm I'm while Lord's I'm walking around, going. we'll pop in one. Uh, charge the 10 here, so I, it's not gonna make a difference if I'm on the objective, but it makes me feel better. Oh, did you, which squad did you charge? The, the one, one in the open. open yeah. Cool, oh, that's a shame, we don't get Typhus in. No, no, you I want. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want the minus one hit. I don't want, I don't want to hit on fours. <laughs> the Trigon hilariously has 12 attacks. Okay. Uh, he's currently gonna be hitting you on fours. Yep. Because of your minus one cool. nurgling shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, but I still get sustained because you are a day day infantry boy. So, hitting on fours, sustain. Uh, no sustain. <laughs> you used them all up. No sustain, but that's still a decent roll there. Yeah, it is. Strength nine, sorry. Yeah, uh, threes. So threes. Uh, so if you can give four. me four at minus two, three damage apart. Four, five up. Uh, save one. So, so three first damage. one. Kills uh, one. Dead. Dead. Yep. Last one. Dead. So three has been slain. Next up, the Swarm Lord fights into the box walkers and removes all but one of them. And then we've got the existing combats. The bloke drone in the top left does four damage to the Exocrine. The Exocrine does none in return. And then the last remaining Plague Marines fight back into the Trigon, causing four damage and avenging their fallen brothers. Mm. So at the end of your turn, do you want to sum up? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get four for the signals mm -hmm. uh, with my two lovely, lovely Ripper Swarms uh, oh, in the two corners and the five Assassinate. At the end of Battle Round 3, both players are tied on 52 points. But with two of the four big bugs being very badly wounded, how long can the Tyranids hold on? I've got deployed teleport homers and... Um, what was it one? Uh, assassination. Assassination, deployed teleport homers and assassination as my secondaries, which I think I can get five on each. Mm -hmm. Because I need to kill this lovely Swarm Lord and Indeed. I need to kill... Um, I need to go and deploy a homer. Let's start by getting this guy in and... Homering. He's going to home. So shooting phase, um, as you can see, we've kind of piled in um, onto the Swarm Lord. Yep. Um, so we're going to try and take him down with, what's his toughness? Uh, he's toughness nine. So he's now toughness eight. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna kick off with some melters into him. Turn four was super quick, which is just as well because for some reason the top down footage became corrupted. Bloody scrap code or nurglings or something in the system. But Toby slays the Swarm Lord, getting him assassination and also kills the Trigon. Uh, so at the end of that turn, yep. I'll score Assassinate and Deploy Homers in yep. five. Five each. Two units turn four and they draw Defend and Bring It Down. Between the Zone Throats and the Tyrannifax, they manage to kill off the Hellbrute, getting three for Bring It Down, and Defend is achieved as well, making it six on the secondaries and five on the primary. At this point, the two units concede defeat and the final score is talked out, ending 100 points to the Death Guard and 73 to the two units. As we uh, we saw going into the final turn, mm -hmm. um, in priority targets, it's whoever's on the most objectives at the end. Exactly. And as you can see on the objectives, the Death Guard. I found sticky objectives really tasty. Sticky objective is a good rule. Yeah. It's so, a good rule. Death Guard do take the win, one hundred to seventy-two. Yep. Um, very close game. Uh, it felt a lot closer than that final score. Priority mm. targets always looks. Um, flattering to the side that's alive yeah. at the end. Yeah, you get the, the, the extra 15 primer at the end would yeah. have only made a difference for the 10 because the 10s you were able to get through yeah. there. I'm happy with the, the 73 I managed to get um, with it as well and the Nizaroi is always, always fun to run. Yeah, and my first outing with the Death Guard and mm. did quite enjoy them. Yeah. All right, well, Corbin, thank you very much. Great game, man. Well played. And you thank too. you so much to our Servo Skull Scott for uh, making sure that everything went well. Um, we've been Obsec Tactics um, from me. And me. And Big E. Thanks for watching.